So today I'm gonna make a quick video for those who want to start a YouTube channel, but they feel like they're stuck, they don't know what to post, because I posted my, my first YouTube video and I'm starting to take off and what I realized is this. In this YouTube video, you can check it out, it's called Talk to Strangers. This one habit will change your life forever. If you look at the title, very simple, even with capitalization, it's like normal capitalization like people will write. There's no thumbnail. It's just literally a frame of me. And it's a video just like this on my phone with no captions, no edits, no cuts, me talking for six minutes about my life and what I learned from a mentor who essentially told me, be willing to talk to strangers because you never know who you're going to meet. And your shyness has probably lost you six, seven, or eight figures, or even more in, um, in net worth. And I talk about a story of how, uh, you know, people who were in the same dormitory as Mark Zuckerberg, it was one guy who made billions of dollars by helping Mark Zuckerberg out uh, very early on in his career. While there were so many other people surrounding Mark Zuckerberg in that dormitory. Same goes with Bill Gates, uh, Steve Ballmer, and, and all of that. So be willing to talk to strangers. You never know who you're going to meet. But in today's video, I want to talk about the power of being authentic, the power of taking action, and of being consistent. As you can see on this YouTube channel, these YouTube videos are very raw, authentic, no fancy editing, just me talking directly to you. I have a specific audience in mind, somebody who's an ambitious entrepreneur, content creator, somebody who wants to build a business online. So for me, I don't need to have fancy editing or anything like that, jump cuts. Just talk to exact audience and then just post a video. So my recommendation for you, if you want to start a YouTube channel, be authentic, just pull up your phone and talk to the camera. You'd be surprised by the results you're going to get. One of my favorite things to do uh, that I used to do was uh, go to your favorite YouTubers, go on the videos and look at the oldest videos they've ever made. Look at Mr. Beast, you know, see his progression. Don't compare yourself to Mr. Beast after he's been doing it for 10 years. Look at his first video. Whatever video you post, most likely you're not gonna get a ton of views your first 10 videos, 20 videos, but it's good because people don't know you. So it's good that your first videos are not great, uh, that are not going viral because they're not that good. So be willing to po post your first videos, take some reps and take this YouTube channel as an experiment, as, a, as evidence that you don't need to be fancy with it. Just do what I'm doing. Pick up your phone and start making videos. Another tip as well, if you're a content creator and entrepreneur, and you want to get some fancy DSLR, you don't really need that. However, I would recommend getting uh, a phone that actually has a good camera. So I used to have an iPhone 13, but the microphone was terrible. The camera wasn't working well. So I recently upgraded to the iPhone 15, and there's a major difference in the quality of my videos in terms of image and sound quality. So that's something that I would recommend, is like use your phone, um, but just get one that actually works, okay? So hopefully this was helpful, guys. I'm just posting more videos like this, like kind of sharing uh, what I'm learning along the way. This channel is for entrepreneurs and content creators who want to build businesses online. And I'll be documenting the entire journey of how I'm going to be build businesses here on YouTube and other platforms. I'm posting on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Uh, right now I'm testing shorts. Uh, and long form content just like this and seeing what works. So I'll be documenting exactly uh, everything that I'm learning along the way so you can apply it as well. What I'm seeing right now is simplicity. Be simple with your videos. Too many people overthink their content and they never start producing content because they believe it, it has to be perfect. So they spend a week, two weeks, figuring out the perfect content idea. And trust me, if you're just starting out, your first video, it's not gonna be good. Even if you spend a week or two weeks on it, it's not gonna be good. You're gonna look back in a year from now and think, wow, how did I post that? <laughs> but that's normal. Because this is one of the quotes that I heard recently was, 
if your first product, uh, if you're too proud of your first product, you were too late. So just apply it to your content. It's your first piece of content, you're so proud of that, and it looks so great, uh, you probably wasted like too much time. So be willing to put something out there that's not perfect. Because remember, it's all about being authentic, vulnerable, and consistent, okay? People wanna see your true self. I've seen pages, even on Instagram, for example, that because of people watch Alex Ormosi, which is an entrepreneur, if you don't know who he is, he's an Alex Ormosi. He has a famous book, $100 million Authors, which is a great book, by the way. But everybody started making fancy editing and captions and jump cuts and all of these things. And you look at their pages, it doesn't seem real. It doesn't seem authentic. Um, so be willing to just pick up your phone and start talking to people. It's amazing that now we're in the golden age of social media and you're not too late. If you've been thinking, oh, I'm too late. One of my mentors, he started on social media about like 10 years ago or so. And he thought back then that he was too late. Okay, so we're just getting started with social media. So don't think you're too late. Don't think it's oversaturated. Just pick up your phone and start posting and be authentic. People don't want to see the fancy captions. They want to see the fancy editing. They didn't want to see all this stuff. They want to see the real you. Okay. Be willing to show stories because people remember stories. Be willing to be vulnerable and show a part of yourself that um, most people are not willing to share. Just share your true self. That's how you're going to stand out and actually make a real connection with people. So think about it. When you meet a friend, you, you're with your buddies, for example, um, you just, or you're just FaceTiming somebody, you're just talking to them, right? And they accept you for who you are. Uh, you don't need some fancy captions, or editing and all of that, and, and think about the video for like m months. You just talk to people, okay? That's what social media is all about. And if you look at the biggest creators in 2024 that I'm seeing right now, they're all growing through organic, real content, okay? A good example is Sam Sulek. He's in the fitness industry. I think he's posting like once a day, long form video content. And there's no fancy stuff. It's just him showing his workouts and just giving advice, being authentic. Um, and that's why people, that's why he's standing out because too many people try to have their feed to be perfect. They're trying to look the best and, and they're afraid of posting uh, because of judgments from others. Um, just be willing to be yourself, honestly. So that's my advice if you're watching this video. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you like these videos or if you want me to do some crazy captions and fancy editing. Let me know your thoughts about this. Do you like videos that are more raw, unedited, straight to a point, with value, or do you like the fancy captions, the jump cuts, the, what is it called, the stock footage and all of that? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if this was helpful, if you're an entrepreneur or content creator, make sure to send me a message on Instagram. Let's connect. This is what social media is all about. Let's connect. Let's chat. And if you have any suggestions on things that I should do next in my videos, let me know as well. Peace.